All right, a couple more tests you can do. If you just got a voltmeter, I mean, they're slow. You're not, it's not gonna pick up the ups and downs like a oscilloscope will. But even this, if you watch it for a while, we should be seeing some going below 450 millivolts and then they should be getting way down close to zero at some point every now and then. And as you can see, this thing is just stuck pretty much right around 600, 650. I even watch for a while, you're not seeing any drops. So that's another way we can tell if you just got a voltmeter. Just sit there and watch for a while. You want to see at least some get low, which this one is not. And then the other thing you should probably check Sometimes you have problems with the heater circuit where they won't really work at idle until you get the RPMs up and it starts heating up that sensor and then they'll start working. So I'll show you how to check the heater circuit here. Okay, heater circuit. You're going to want it plugged in because you're going to want a loaded circuit. The key's got to be on. And you usually, with the Bosch, well, I think most O2 sensors, you'll have two wires coming from the sensor into the connector. They're going to be the same color. Those are going to be your heater circuit. One's going to be ground. One's going to be power. So you're going to want plugged in so it's loaded. And I'm on, I'm back probed here on the power side. Which, you can see we got basically battery voltage so that is good and then we'll go in on the ground here okay and well, the scale's are little high, but you don't want it at zero. If you're at zero, then you got a bad ground to your voltmeter, or the ground is bad on that circuit. But we do have some voltage there, it's just the scales are up higher. If I turn the scales down here, say to a one volt, going to there we go, We're making a good connection. Hang on here, I'm having technical difficulties. <sighs> Trying to do this one-handed isn't the easiest thing. Hang on, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, there I got it on the ground. I got a good connection. I got it on the ground circuit. Which I would say you probably want at least 100 millivolts on that ground circuit while it's loaded. Which means the heater circuit's working. It's not open. So that's not a problem here. Okay, one other thing you gotta watch on these three wire O2s is the ground through the exhaust. And so what I did here is I ran a wire from the O2, grounded it on the block. Now I did this with the old O2, but it was still acting up and sticking. So just to be on the and I clean these grounds up. Then I just ran this to be on the safe side when I put the new O2 in, so we shouldn't have a ground problem. Uh, four wires they ground through the computer, so this doesn't become a problem. But that's another thing you got to watch with these three wires that could cause a problem too. with the new O2.
fix.